This is the Misfit Vegan Podcast, episode 332. So I'm just popping in real quick because I was in the kitchen cleaning up for the night and I was realizing it's almost 11 o'clock. I always do that. I always make dinner and then I always seem to have a Zoom or a meeting or something that I have to do right after dinner and then I don't get to clean the kitchen until like midnight. And I don't know why this works out this way. I think I need um I think I need a maid. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's what I need. Um so if anybody um wants to apply, uh I will pay you much more than you ask. Um, but it will be in the form of content. So I don't know if that's something you're interested in, but anyway, okay. So I wanted to note that I spoke about discipline earlier and it's interesting because I'm realizing throughout the day today that it's not that I'm disciplined. It's that I have habits. In the beginning, yes, I needed to be disciplined, but now they're habits, okay? And when I don't do those habits, I fall off track, okay? So let me tell you a real-life story. Um, This is embarrassing, but it is real life, okay? I've been going to yoga every single morning, but (laughs) I'm human. I hate admitting that. Today, I had a very important meeting at the same time that yoga was, so I couldn't go and I couldn't reschedule the meeting. So I had a very important meeting, um, and so I said to myself, okay, I'm going to go to yoga. Oh, sorry. Hmm. It's been a while since I yawned on my own podcast. Okay, so I said to myself, I'm going to go to yoga at 5.30. So I scheduled it for 5.30, like I scheduled the class. And then what had happened was, uh, I got busy and stuff. And then I was filming and I had like three interviews today and I'm very important and people were emailing me and my course is about to start. So I was, I was fixing, you know, things for the course last minute because um, I'm redoing the PowerPoints again and I'm fixing things and I'm very, I have a lot, you know. I'm changing the world, so I got a lot going on. And then what happened was I missed yoga. And I, cause, and then it looked like it was going to rain. And I was like, oh, no, because I like I take my bike to yoga. So I was like, oh, no, I'll be caught in the rain. And I realized what happened, which is, and by the way, this happened once before. This actually happened once before. And I did get to yoga but I almost didn't. Like I literally had to push myself so hard to go. Um, And also I don't like to go to yoga after I eat. I like to go on a fasted stomach. But anyway, the point is that if you don't work out in the morning, you're not. I was trying to fight the yawn. I couldn't do it. I got to go to sleep, y'all. I'm tired. Uh, If you don't go to yoga, (laughs) this is a terrible podcast. If you don't go, if you don't work out first, if I don't work out first thing, it don't happen. Unless you're like Zin Rosie, okay? She'd probably work out no matter what. But like me, I'm not that passionate about working out. You know what I mean? I'm not Wonder Woman, Australian edition. So basically, if I don't work out in the morning, it's not going to work out. Like it's not going to, yeah, it's not going to work out. It's not going to work out and I'm not going to work out. So I realized that because, you know, working out, it's a habit, but like it's not something that I've been doing like hardcore consistently like like other things in my life you know I've been working out for a long time now but then sometimes I've fallen off um especially like when when things happen when I had to go to New York when um you know like I have to go to Woodstock Fruit Festival I do that for like 15 days out of the year and even though I teach workout classes I don't really consider when I teach workout classes I don't consider that a workout Um, But anyway, the point is that I am not disciplined. I'm just creating, there's habits. So like I have a habit of working out in the morning and it's very rare that I don't do that. And when I don't do that, you see, it didn't happen. I didn't, I didn't work out, but then I did. So what happened was 
my roommate came home and I was like, Hey, can we work out together? Cause I didn't work out. And she was like, no, she's tired. And then I convinced her to work out. So we did a 45 minute, um, serious yoga class. So I actually did work out, but I didn't go to, to yoga. And I really love going to my yoga studio cause it's like a serious workout. It's hot yoga and I'm sweating my ass off. So, you know, I did a, a good workout this evening with my roommate, but it wasn't the same exactly. I didn't sweat. So that's number one. And then number two, I was just in the kitchen now cleaning up and I was like, oh my gosh, because I had meetings all day. My last meeting ended at 9.45. And then after that, um, I was just like talking to my roommate for a while. And then I went into the kitchen to clean up and I realized I hadn't brushed my teeth. I didn't floss, water pick and brush my teeth. And I was in the kitchen and it's like almost 11 o'clock and I'm like, ooh, I got to go. I got to go brush my teeth, floss, and water pick because I'm cleaning up and there's always lots of yummy stuff in the kitchen and like, you know, there's grapes and there's like oranges, you know, there's always stuff and I love to eat and you know, honestly, I could eat something right now, no problem, easily. I could eat a date or two or, you know, I could have a little grape, little grape party in my mouth, you know? But I ran to do this podcast and then right after this podcast, I'm going to brush my teeth because the truth is if is that if I don't brush, floss, and water pick my teeth, I would probably pop a few grapes in my mouth. And then that's not a big deal, but at the same time, I don't want to be eating at 11 o'clock at night. I'm getting really good at eating earlier, okay? Because I'm in such a bad habit of eating super late. I work a lot. And then I just, the day runs away from me and then I just, I eat a lot at night because, you know, I have a big, big salad and sometimes I eat it at midnight and this is absolutely terrible. And so I'm getting better and better every day at eating earlier and I did eat much earlier today. I think it was like six o'clock, something like that. Um, And uh, yeah, so I'm going to go brush my teeth now and that is going to prevent me from nibbling on things that I don't need right now. Even though they might be healthy, I don't want to eat this late at night because it it leads to me not having a great night's rest and it leads to me eating even more than I want. I'm not really hungry. I just I just love to eat and I'll always love to eat. I I'm a foodie and I love food and I'm just letting you guys know that these are the little things that I do to I guess you could call it stay disciplined. Okay, I work out in the morning. I go to yoga in the morning, okay? And I brush my teeth right after I eat the last meal. And this really, really helps, you see? So it's not just discipline. It's creating the little habits that help you stay disciplined, okay? So I want you to think about all the little things that you could possibly do to help yourself succeed, to make it easier for yourself to succeed. Maybe you need to leave the yoga mat out. That's what I do. I leave the yoga mat out in my room and every day, um, well, now I'm going to yoga. So every day though, before I joined the yoga studio, I used to just roll out of bed and go onto the mat and do some yoga before I get my day started. Because if I don't do it first, I'm not going to do it. And, um, you know, I'm trying to think of other things like that. Okay, so um, another thing is I started to like just film every single time, every single time I eat and every time like I do certain things. Um, and the reason is because then I don't have to create content. Like for example, whenever, whenever I go to the beach for a walk, sorry, I had like a hiccup or something. Um, I start filming. Okay. Whenever I have a free moment, like on my bike or I don't know, just free moments in the day, I film a podcast. I don't schedule filming. I just created the habit of recording or filming when I could either between calls or when I have my walk, when I go on a walk or when I make food, I just start filming and I don't plan it and I don't rehearse it and I don't premeditate it at all. And if you do that, then do you boo. But I have found that I've been much more consistent. And even though it seems like I'm not growing, I know I am. It's very, very slow, especially on YouTube. I do not understand, but it's, it's interesting because even though I'm not growing, I have so many people 
all around the world that support me and leave comments and email me and tell me these amazing things that I've inspired them to do. And um, it seems like I have a lot more followers than I do have. I I don't know. Um, But um, yeah, I feel strongly that I'm doing good social social media wise, even though it doesn't seem like I'm growing that fast or that much, but I don't think it matters how many followers you have. And I've said this before, um, it, it matters how many supporters you have. And I seem to have a lot of supporters and I just, I just feel like it has to do with my consistency. I'm very, very consistent every single day, no matter what I post videos and reels and podcasts and stories for years and a lot of people have told me wow the amount of content you produce like you should have millions of followers by now but like i know people with lots of lots of followers but they don't sell as many bundles as me they don't sell as many books as me they can't fill a course in a few days like i can so i don't know i feel that we need to stop focusing on the followers and we need to start focusing on the content and being consistent and the amount of supporters we have and the amount of people that we're touching by the emails we're getting and the messages we're getting and the comments. Because if I look at my followers, I'm just like, hmm, I don't have a lot. But then if I look at my email or my DMs, I have a lot of messages and I have people that really re- like care and they're really doing things and they're really getting inspired and that's worth more than so like having millions of followers because you can have lots of followers that don't that they're not benefiting from you putting yourself out there they're not choosing to eat more fruit instead of dead animal body parts they're not um choosing to look at life differently and look at food differently and better themselves because of your content so I think it's relative and I think it's important to note that. Um, and I'm just like talking out loud at this point. I'm basically having conversations with myself. And so I wonder how this will work when I'm married one day because I need to be able to have conversations with myself. But you know what I'm thinking, guys? I'm thinking that I'll have a podcast studio by then, like my own. I'll be making my podcast. I'll be talking to myself in the podcast studio And then when I do random podcasts with my boo, I will include them in my podcast. So I guess that's how it's going to work. We'll see. But I think about it right now and I'm just like, hmm, I spend a lot of time talking to myself between the reels and the YouTube videos and the um, like podcast. I'm just like, huh, I wonder how this will work when I'm uh, with other humans. Anyway. Thank you guys so much for listening. Um, I did fill all the spots for my food addiction freedom course. So I'm really grateful. And I just can't believe that I get to do this for a living. And if you want to work for yourself and do this for a living, I'm telling you right now, it is possible. And I don't even have 10,000 followers on YouTube yet. I was shadow banned a while ago back in in 2020. So that's probably a big part of it. I was growing very fast, but... I started talking about the vid and the jab and I shouldn't have done that. And so I've stopped and I've deleted those videos, but like, I'm pretty sure that's when I got shadow banned. Anyway, um, you don't have to have a lot of followers to make a full time living, doing what you love, helping people for a living, which was my biggest affirmation in life. I really wanted to help people for a living. And I, I never felt that I was truly doing that when I was running my raw vegan cafes in New York And when I was the head of training and development, um, I was doing it a little bit. I was teaching people how to go vegan. But the thing is, is that I was teaching people who didn't care. Like all of the employees, because we had so many stores, okay? We had like 96 stores, uh, 86, I'm sorry. We had 86 stores at the time. Um, And we had to hire so many people every week because it was just a constant rotating door of employees, right? Because we're paying minimum wage. And um, they just didn't care. They were there for the paycheck. And they didn't care about being vegan. Um, I tried to make it as interesting and fun as possible. But like, they weren't 
coming to me asking, hey, so uh, how do you eat a raw vegan diet? Or like, what exactly um, is food combining? And what, you know, how can I, they weren't like people struggling with their weight. They weren't people that really, really wanted to learn. And now that I'm helping people to adopt a raw vegan lifestyle, like, whoa, is this real life? Like, I can't believe I'm doing this because I've been teaching people for since 2011, you know, but the people I, were te- I was teaching, they didn't want to do this. And to be able to be teaching people that want to, that is just a really, really astronomical blessing in my life. Is that the right word? I just can't believe it. It's really nice to talk to people and converse with people and get connected to people that want to do better, want to feel better, want to be more disciplined, want to be healthy, want to help themselves and their families and their friends and the earth and every single person and and want to rise above the standard way of living. People that don't want to be stuck on survive. And that feels really good to connect with people like that all over the world. And I have people in my new course from all over the world, and I'm so excited. And so, yeah, if you did not apply or you um, did not uh, email me or whatever, you missed out. Mm. You missed out. But um, anyway, I'm thinking about, I mean, I have so many applications. I'm thinking about making it 12 people, but I'm just not sure at this point. Um, But yeah, I have like a few emails that are still set to go out. Hmm, Maybe I should cancel those emails. Anyway, love you guys so much. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being you. The last like six minutes of this podcast was probably not necessary. Um, But I want to remind you, you got to eat fruit if you want to be cute. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, boo.